Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic which is the VM stat. VM stat is a command which is used to identify the system bottlenecks. So let's look at this particular command. So we will look at this command called VM stat. Okay, we use it for identifying the performance bottlenecks. This actually VM stat stand for virtual memory statistics tool, which is used to quickly identify bottlenecks on your system. Okay, this shows the real time information about your process, about your memory, about your paging, disk IO, CPU, etc. So let's look at this command in the system and let's look at this output. Okay. Okay, so let's see it on the system, VM stat. Okay, let's look at the details about this. let's review let's analyze this whatever we are seeing there okay couple of things to take note and is of significance is we will mark that here okay so this is here you can see that this is talking about the process. Okay, so this is talking about the process here. So let's look at a couple of important things here. You have at the top, you have the process, you have memory, swap, IO, system, and CPU. So it is reporting in real time these things. It is telling the different processes, the memory utilization. Okay. The utilization about so this process is this is stand for the CPU okay so in this one if you look at it there is something called this letter which is B okay so this letter if a process is sleeping is consistently greater than zero then you may not have enough CPU processing power so just Take note that if this value, if B is greater than zero, that means CPU is insufficient. Okay. Next thing is about the IO part. Okay, so for IO, if you take note that there is this component called WA that is waiting time for IO. Okay, so waiting time for IO, if you see this parameter, okay, let me use pick up a different pen color. Okay, so this parameter, this WA parameter, if this is greater than zero. That means that the waiting time for IO is high. So waiting time is high means there are storage issues in your system. Okay, your storage subsystem is overloaded. Okay, so that means your storage is overloaded.
So if WA is greater than zero means your storage is overloaded. So storage bottlenecks. Okay, then so we have seen about the CPU bottlenecks, which is the parameter for CPU bottlenecks. So this is for CPU bottlenecks, this parameter. For IO bottlenecks, you have this parameter WA. And then there is this parameter. Look at this SO and SI. This particular parameter, SO and SI. So SO means that memory is swapped out and this is swapped in. That means swapping is taking place. That means memory bottlenecks. Okay, so if this is greater than zero, that means memory bottlenecks. So we have seen CPU bottlenecks, disk bottlenecks, memory bottlenecks, how to identify them. Okay, so that is the power of this particular tool, the VM stats tool. Okay, then if you look at it, this what we have seen is at a particular point in time. So this is at point in time. But if I want in say interval of say one second and number of interval is say let's say is 100, you can see that every one second you will find an entry listing down, okay, what is wrong with which. So you can see that this is your B number, B, which is your CPU bottlenecks. This is your WA, second last. So this is zero, this is fine, no storage bottlenecks. SO, SI, that is swapping, there is no swapping, so no bottlenecks for memory. So this is how we identify the bottlenecks at different layers. Okay, so that is about the VM stat command. Okay, so that is pretty much I wanted to cover in this topic. Thank you and have a nice day.